I'm gonna try and do a video. The sun just came out, so kind of messing me up. All right, this is the road we live on. I walk down to that mailbox at the very end every day if I can. Over there, through the irrigation pivot, uh, you can see this Buffalo Bill Reservoir. Very, very big lake there. You can't see them today, but the Bighorn Mountains are that way. Okay, this is where we turn on the street. Well, let me go this way. Hold on. Back to so all this land that you're looking at now is owned by what they call the Hoodoo Corporation, the Hunt Oil people. All this, and uh, that's the mountains up there called Carter Mountain. That all that range right there. This is all the Hoodoo's land. Little signs there. So here's our little road which joins the Hoodoo property. There's no other houses in sight that way. Never will be. Okay. Again, there's the road that comes off the South Fork Road. If you look up the South Fork Road in Cody, very famous, desirable area. This is our house. I'm in our street, Mule Deer Lane. There's three of us down here. First one is Gary, who recently passed away. He's been here, I think, 25 or maybe 30 years. Okay. Very quiet this morning. The field is normally full of antelope and mule deer. I see a few way in the distance, but none close right now. Okay, here's Gary's house. Two bedrooms, one bath up. Uh, a den in the basement, another full bath in the basement. And to the left behind where his little camper is parked, used to be a garage and he turned that into a den. Got nice views out of that. He just keeps his camper there. Okay, here's Gary's house again. Up off the deck in the back, you have a beautiful view of the Buffalo Bill Reservoir. His property goes all the way to the fence line. And then that starts our property. We rode up to the top of those mountains yesterday. I'd zoom in if I could see the screen, but the sun's too bright. Okay, so that's Gary's from this fence line. The hay field you see in the back is his also. I think it's four acres, and it goes all the way over to the road. 6ORS is the road that comes up here, and the mule deer turns off of it. This is ours. There's ditches, there's irrigation, everybody has water certain days, it's a calendar they do out, there's one person that manages all that. Okay, I'm going to pause for a minute, I'm sure that's not good with me walking. So there's Gary's place, and then this is our place, I'll pause again and walk. Okay. Came down this driveway a little bit. That's all the hoodoo land. You might see a little road up there in the distance. The big ranch up there called the Co Lodge, 80 some acres. Buffalo Bill built for his daughter and most recently owned by Bill Gates. He just sold it this summer. You can't see it from here. The rock out in the distance formation is called Castle Rock. So when you live at the South Fork, we live about, I think it might be 25 more miles to the end of the South Fork Road out where you see those mountains. It's pretty hazy. 
then becomes a thoroughfare, which they say is the most remote wilderness in the lower 48 states. That's where people backpack, go up in there, you can go all the way into Yellowstone. And let's see, so Castle Rock is a big thing you want to see, is very desirable. Carter Mountain, people want to have views of that. Castle Rock. And then people also want to, let me see what this looks like. Have views of Sheep Mountain, which is a mountain behind our house there. Rattlesnake Mountain over there on the other side of the reservoir, and then you like to get a view of the lake, the reservoir. Okay, here's our little place. Not very big. That's all we need. It was two bedrooms, one and a half bath, and the half bath was in the master. We changed that to a full. So. Two bedrooms, two baths now. And our property goes over here to the tree line and the fence line you can see. That's our neighbor down there, Janie. Actually, the house doesn't look like much on this side. We got an RV full hookup right here. And that's our neighbor Gary's house over there. We have a nice big shop. And this was a hay barn, the big three bay pole building. And when he see recently poured concrete in that and he just ran electricity and now we're using that to park vehicles and our truck camper. This is the back of our little house. We sit out here a lot. Well, the nice thing about this is you can sit on the back or the front depending on how the weather and wind does. The wind blows a lot here. And this is our property line over here. You might get here the irrigation ditch. Our neighbors, kids do junior rodeo, so they practice some. House. As you can see, we got a wind block there. Those trees aren't doing good. Plenty. Washing up the side by side. And here's our little front porch. Shane had just recently redid all that. Okay, that's all for the tour.